Hi, my name is Anthony Cunningham, and I want to welcome you to Transforming Times in Christ, where we know that we are transformed by the renewing of our mind, and uh, renewing our mind with the Word of God and, and who He says we are and who He is in our lives. This is how lives are changed, and it's amazing what He wants to do in your life today just by receiving His truth and, and who you are in Christ Jesus. Today I want to take the opportunity to kind of speak in lines of uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 5 and, and verse 20 and 21. I'm going to go ahead and read those. It says, Now then we, and this is meaning you also, that we are ambassadors for Christ, as though God were pleading through us. We implore you on Christ's behalf to be reconciled to God. For He made Him who knew no sin to be sin for us, that we might become the righteousness of God in Him. Oh, I just love this scripture so much because once we get a revelation of this reconciling that God has done for each one of us, you just might have a good day if you get a hold of that. The, the reconciling, the, the, the bringing us back to this place of, of right standing with the Father. What an amazing thing that God has restored in, in your life today. If you put your faith in it, it can come in and, and even make you feel good. Um, what God did through Jesus Christ was He restored you. He restored us uh, back to a place where we can have relationship with Him, daily living relationship. You know, what's amazing is that you can know God like you know another person, like you know your wife or, or a brother or sister. Um, you can know God like this and be close to Him through this reconciliation, through this place of righteousness. You know, this, this place of righteousness, this place of right standing before God has enabled you and I to boldly come to God, to boldly come to Him, to speak with Him, uh, to understand that, that how when we're created in His own image, He created us with the capacity for the Holy Spirit to live inside of us. Some of you might say, oh, well, that's just getting too spiritual, Tony. You know, the Holy Spirit is, is what God pours into our lives that causes us to be that new creation that reveals to us that we are the Son of God. Do you know and understand today that you are a son or a daughter of God, that that's how He looks at you, that you're adopted into His family, you know, the scripture says that it is the Holy Spirit that bears witness with our spirit that we are the sons of, of God. So we're not going to know this through any other way but through the Holy Spirit. And that Holy Spirit is so alive today and living and wanting to breathe and, and speak the truth of God to you today and build hope in your life and, and show you the way to walk in so that you can walk in all that God has called for your life to do. So many today are just looking for, for good feelings and, and things to feel good. And, and I don't want to uh, just make you feel better today. I want to help you believe better today. If you'll change the way um, that we see things, then, then we will change the way that we are. If, if we allow the, the Bible to come in and create a perspective inside of us, then our whole world changes. And it's an amazing transformation that God wants to do. You know, it's not that we're trying to feel different or feel different ways or, or to avoid feelings that are inside of us because feelings come and emotions come. But it's that our believing and the way we see can be looked at and done through different ways, through the eyes of faith and, and allowing that to come in and, and change everything. You know, we don't have to buy into the lie that the enemy brings to us. You know, if you're feeling uh, a rejected person or, or you're feeling like you're so bound to uh, drugs or alcohol today or, or if you're feeling like you're depressed today or, or if, if you're feeling like your life is worthless today, I want you to, to, to understand that there is an enemy that is trying to persuade, persuade your mind to think just like him. Remember, there's an enemy that, that has come to kill, steal, and destroy. And he's also called the father of lies. You see, 
Jesus said it, it is your, the truth that we should know, and that truth will set us free. When we understand that this Bible is the truth, and we embrace this truth, and we begin to think on lines of this truth and, and, and live out of this truth, that, that there's a freedom that comes into our lives where when the enemy tries to come and, and condemn you or me, this truth is the wall that, that prevents it from taking root inside of us. I want to encourage you today, if you find yourself in that place of, of depression or hopelessness, that it isn't about just feeling better. It is about getting this truth in me so that I can believe better, so that I can see through the lens of faith what it is that God has for my life. You know, you have been made the righteousness of God through Christ Jesus, which means you are in a place of right standing with God. You know, that place of righteousness doesn't enable me or cause me to want to sin and get away with it and, and just allow some kind of hyper grace to just cover a, a reckless lifestyle. But it enables me to have all that He's promised. You know, the Bible says that there is an inheritance that is given to us the moment that we receive Jesus as our Lord and turn our life towards Him. This inheritance, part of it says in the scriptures that we are instantly taken from the kingdom of darkness and placed under the kingdom of His Son's love. That now we are now taken out from under the authority of darkness. Now do I instantly feel that when it happens? No, I don't instantly feel that. What I do is I understand that that is what's happened to me and now I put my faith in that and I think in lines of that and believe that. And now darkness no longer has a place of persuading my thinking, my mind, because my faith is I'm now placed in the kingdom of His Son's love. And what is His Son's love? It is so powerful that it's going to come in and, and renew our mind. Remember, we're transformed by the renewing of our mind, by renewing our mind with the Bible, with the Word of God, renewing our mind with knowing what Jesus Christ has done for me, how He wants to come in and transform and change my life, but not in lines so that my life can be all comfortable and without any problems no more. We've been misled today by so many, and I've heard it so many times, and that's why I have to speak on it that come to Jesus. Life is going to be perfect now. Everything's all good. And, and, and then when we come to Jesus and trouble comes our way, then all of a sudden we walk away from it. You know, I want to encourage you to, to later on, you know, look up Luke 8, 4 and what the scriptures say about the seed and the sower, which is the word of God and the type of person. And I want you to examine yourself in it. And, and not as condemnation, not to say, oh man, I miss it, but to say, this is the light that is God shining on my path. This is the direction that I need to go. Because what God's showing is that, you know, what we do, we, we must do it wholeheartedly. We must do it in an honest way. You know, God is looking for that type of ground, that, that good and noble ground, that, that honest person that, that strives to keep a clear conscience before God and before men, just like Paul did. And I believe this is a foundational thing in our walk with Jesus, to keep a clear conscience, a conscience without offense, to not easily be offended anymore. Because we cannot expect the blind to walk like they see. So, so now that our eyes are made open, we want to help them along in seeing better, in seeing who it is that God created them to be. And that's what I want you to know today, that God has created you to be His own family. He has created you in a way that He wants to live inside of you to bring hope. I love it because the scriptures say, out of our innermost being will flow rivers of living water. I love the Word of God like that, when it talks to us like that and, and, and looks at us as if there's something so amazing that is just flowing through us. And that's what God wants to do in our lives. Through our relationship with Him, he wants to flow into our relationships around us. And even people that we don't know, He wants us to be that voice of hope. You see, God's love is so amazing. It seeks our best interest. It, 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 it seeks our best interest. Uh, love seeks the best interest, interest in the object that is loved. 
and God is pursuing us. You know, there's, there's so many uh, people I, I get to talk to on the streets, and, and some tell me, I won't go to a church, but I'll watch you on TV. Thank you for watching us on TV. Thank you for taking the time and allowing God to sow His Word into you because He loves you so much that He is pursuing you and all He wants to do is get His Word to you so that you could come to understand Him and, and, and come to know Him more, that you're, you're greatly loved by Him and He's going to pursue your life because that's what love does. It pursues you, it, it draws you, and when that drawing comes, we have to answer to it. And we have to agree with it. You know, there's, it's hard to talk about God's grace without talking about transformation. Because God's grace is so good. And if it's misused, it'll enable me to live a reckless lifestyle. But His grace is so good that it, that it draws me to Him. See, it is by this grace that I've been saved. It's His goodness, His grace that I've been saved. But it is through faith. And this faith is a transforming thing. It, it changes. It changes the way we see things. It changes how we live our life. It, it changes how we look at others. You know, faith is simply believing what God says is true. It is saying that I agree with you now, God. I agree with who you say I am. I agree with who the scriptures say that you are, God. It's I agree with your word now. I agree with the righteousness of God. I, this is faith, and this is repentance. It is turning and agreeing with the Lord. You know, the scripture tells us in the Proverbs that there is a way that seems right to a man, but its way leads to death or its way leads to destruction. So there's always going to be a voice that, that speaks to us, that seems right to do. Um, but this is where God wants to pull us out of and, and help us to understand His way and, and that His way is the right way. And it's a learning process, but we've got to be Christians that are, that are Bible-based Christians. We, we have to be uh, men and, and women that are, our lives are founded on this Bible, on this Word of God. And today I want your life to be founded. I want your hope to be founded on that you have been reconciled, reconciled to God, not just to go to heaven only, but to be in a place of relationship with Him. Jesus came to reconcile us back to the Father. This is the process by which man and women are brought together again with God. This is made possible only through the blood of Jesus for the purpose of having relationship with Him. It's not just going to church. It's Him living inside of us and our lives being hidden in Him. I want to encourage you to pursue Him wholeheartedly. Thank you.